The term Rab. This is Rab. Rab. This word here, Rab, is one of the first very important, powerfully communicating powerful uh, words words in the Quran in terms of terms of compact compact meaning and ability to just communicate so much with one word. Actually, a rab is really one syllable, isn't it? Rab. When you say the rabun, it's two syllables. When you pronounce the uh, sign at the end of the letter, but it's actually a rab, one, one syllable letter. But so rich in meaning. So uh, the word, so rich in meaning. Rab. Allah is the rab of all the worlds. If we see the Quran as we read it, with al Fatiha being the beginning of our reading of the Quran, the opening and beginning of the Quran, then the first words of the, Qur of, the, of the Quran, as we read it, are Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, then Alhamdulillahi. So we have two descriptions of God. Until now, right? Bismillahir Rahman, that's one description of Rahman. Rahim, two descriptions. Alhamdulillah, Rab, third description. The third description in the Quran that we come upon. Now we just began reading the Quran. Is this one, Rab. And it says, Rab, Rab, Rabbul Alameen, Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, affected grammatically. That's how come it's Rabbi. Otherwise, speaking as a noun or subject, it would be Rabbu, or Rabbun, you see? Um, I'm not here to teach you Arabic. This is not an Arabic lesson uh, session, a workshop, whatever you want to call it. Um, <clears throat> this, is, this is Quranic Arabic, Quranic Arabic, okay? Rabbul Alameen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. So, Lord of all the world. Al Alameen. Lord of all the world. How do we find the meaning now for the common person? The message, the revelation. It's the revelation. How do we find it for the common person? How is this expression used other than for God? Do we have to go to an Arabic dictionary or an Arabic encyclopedia for it? Never go to any book before you go to the same book. Always go to the same book for the meaning. In the Quran is the dictionary for the Quran. Yes. This is, this is the revelation. This is revelation too. I'm giving you right now. In the Quran is the dictionary for the Quran. Did it send us to outside for keys? No. He has the keys to the heavens and earth, huh? All the keys with the revelation. Okay. Rabbul Alameen. That means dictionary, dictionary keys, meanings, definitions. Okay. And um, yes, Rabbul Alameen. Lord of all the world. Okay. In the Quran, our God teaches us in a beautiful way to respect our parents. And the expression used is with this, uh, the term used with this expression, Lord be to them as they were to me, kind, huh? Huh? As they were to me when they raised me up as a child. And this word is used. Rabbayani, for two during the verb. This is the verb of the noun. Rabbayani, yeah, for two. Rabbayani, sahira, when they raised me up when I was small. As they raised me up when I was small, or as a child. Rabbayani Sahira. So, Rabbayani 
Me. This is a Rab. Rab, Ba. And this is Ya. This is two dots. Ya, Ni. And then when I was small, Sagira, you know, we don't have to put that. So here's, here is the same term used again in a different context. Here's how we find definition for the term in, in the Quran. You, you see how God used the same term in different references or in different contexts. Then you get the meaning of that term. How do we know the meaning of go? By its usage. Huh? That's the only way you know. So if you want to know the meaning of any term in the Quran, study its usage in the context of the Quran. Then you get its meaning. Rabbayani Sahira and Rab. So you have scholars, right? Scholars, great scholars. Don't like a breakage in anything. Unless it's supposed to be broken. Uh, so you have scholars, you know, they, they say, the evolver. Hmm? The evolver for Lord. Call it the evolver. The Lord who evolved the world. So, now this is not Darwin's evolution, this is different. So, here we have the, the meaning raised up. Now, every person know how a child is raised up by parents. So say now we have to go to the dictionary and see what raised me. No, we don't. Because raised have been used in a common context. Say, as you raised me up when I was a small child. We all know how children are raised up by their parents from small child. <laughs> right? So what is the meaning of raised now? To love. To cherish. To be concerned for. To watch out for the needs of. Hmm? To serve the needs of. Huh? To guide, direct. To look to the future and aim that child's life to the future that you want for it. You cut out for a child of, I want that child to be this kind of person. This kind of person. Then you, then you groom that child. You care for that child and nourish that child and groom that child so that that child grows into the beautiful destiny you want for it. And what you want for it is that it be responsible for itself and responsible for more than itself. Huh? You want to raise it up so it will be like you. You're responsible for it and other things too. So you want that child to grow up into more responsibility, to be more independent and less dependent. Correct? So that's what it means. Rabbul Alameen. Now you say, well, how can that go for the world? The earth, the, uh, the earth, the, the, the Mars and the sun and the stars out there. How are we to understand that or apply that to that reality? If God, by his will, has made the existence of something, created or uh, caused the existence of something, and also law governing the existence, the existence of that, that, that uh, 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 forces or enforces a discipline and also an adjustment so that any situation that interrupts the will or the discipline will be taken care of by a law that enforces an adjustment. So the creation, like the, like the child, when it comes to, 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 a, to a point where it needs to make an adjustment, there is a law and, and, an, and an adjustment factor that comes about. They call it adaptation or whatever. 
that comes about, that comes into action, or comes into play to, 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 to uh, make it possible for that existence to grow or progress into a form for surviving beyond the problem. Or for survival beyond the problem. Right? So, survival is threatened to make it grow, really, isn't it? Survival is threatened to bring it to where God wants it to go. So, God created it, but God created it to run into problems. And the problem it's going to run into have already been taken care of by an, effect, an adjustment factor. Hmm? If it runs into that problem, it's going to make an adjustment. And the adjustment is going to be more, more progress, more evolution. 